what's up? First episode of the Select Star Podcast. I'm joined with Black Sabbath. Here. And Dread. Over here. And I myself am Static. It's going to be an interesting show, I guess. First one. Let's see how this goes. So we are just going to start off with games that we are playing lately over Christmas break. So I guess, uh, Sabbath, do you want to start? Uh, I guess, since you're putting me on the spot here, but anyways, over the Christmas break, uh, it was not bad, I had family visiting, um, I did get sick quite a bit, uh, mm, that sucks. yeah, anyways, on games, since there was a uh, pretty big Steam sale. The only game I really got was New Vegas, and I've actually put 40 hours into that on PC. And I have some some neat mods. A uh, couple of them are Mass Effect mods. Like there's quite a bit of armor for it. Uh, most most of the weapons from the second one. And what else? There was an underground mod that allowed me to, like store shit in that all down there. And it's quite a neat right. mod. If you ever check it out, if you want to check it out, go to the Nexus site for Fallout uh, New Vegas, and it'll be up there. For the Mass Effect mods, though, uh, you kind of have to earn your way up in F3 Underground. Um, it's not that hard. 30 posts in three days. Well, you have to post 30 times, and you have to be a member as long as three days. And the guys over there are pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that are in the Mass Effect over there. That's because it's an exclusive mod. Um, and Fallout New Vegas, everyone should be playing that game. is flipping amazing. It's so good. Yeah, I think they got rid of most of, just about all the bugs, pretty much. It does. It sometimes uh, crashes on me on PC, but not often. Yeah, the one bug that was bothering me the most, they got rid of. It was like, I was so happy. I was like, now I can have my teammate back, who I couldn't use before. Yeah, I know, it was so annoying. <laughs> Plus, uh, I think they fixed the companions. If they ever get uh, stuck on anything, you turn around, they actually teleport to you right behind you kind of thing. Oh, that's good. Uh, that, uh, and I've been playing Black Ops, not so much anymore. Um, it is fixed on the PC, uh, but I think I have pro. I think it's not compatible with my processor that I have, and it tends to drop my inputs. Um, another game is Bad Company 2. I did the Vietnam playthrough before Christmas, actually. Um, it's basically just a multiplayer pack that uh, has different vehicles and weapons, and it's uh, not really a leveling system. It's all right. I I wait until the price drops. 15 bucks for it's kind of a little much. I think if you get three maps and a couple of new weapons, you, you don't upgrade your weapons like you do in the main game. Um, there's different vehicles. Uh, a lot of the helicopters are underpowered now. Uh, the tanks are big, heavy, and bulky, and they're not as precise as the original game. And that's about it for games. Um, I think I'm. I might. Oh, actually, I did buy, I ordered a Dreamcast off eBay, and nice. I'm waiting for the notification to say that it's been sent, and so far I heard nothing, but I did get a notification on uh, Fantasy Star Online, that's coming, and Quake 3 should be coming as well, and hopefully I'm trying to get a broadband adapter for it so I can try the online part, because there is still online support for the Dreamcast. People still playing that? Is that like hopping community over there on the Dreamcast? Pretty much. It's like, um, what would an example be? It's 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 got a kind of like a PC esque kind of community. Like you, there's there's so much support for the Dreamcast now, unlike PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, and all that gen. It's pretty uh, it's still going. Which is really strange, because it was like the console that didn't last. That's because PlayStation killed Sega, which is kind of <laughs> unfortunate. Dreamcast is an amazing machine. Um, what else? That 
about wraps it up for me. I've been, and the latest game I've been playing is Minecraft. Um, and yes, Minecraft. So that's about it for me. On to Dread. Okay, so I haven't been doing a lot over the break, but pretty much the only games I have been playing are a couple that I've gotten for Christmas. One was Lord of the Rings Conquest, which is basically reminds me a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the uh, PC and PS2, except Lord of the Rings style, basically. And I've also been playing a lot of Minecraft as of lately, uh, just building whatever, really. Very nice. He also yep. uh, saw what I was building on Minecraft today. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Especially a, a, a tower, whatever you had that was going on in there, the Athenian city. Well, thank you. I did work hard on that. Take you a lot of time to build the city of Greece or whatever. Yep, it's going to take me a while. I want to see what Dread's doing. Probably after the podcast, probably check out his server. He's just making dirt houses. <laughs> I don't know. Are you making just dirt houses, Dread? Yeah. I can teach you a few tricks of the trade. Yeah, I'm pretty suckish right now. I'm building basic castles. Don't have any real cool stuff yet. Sweetness. So, I guess this is me now then. Um, uh, what am I playing? I was playing Fallout, and then something happened, and I have to do something I do not want to do, so I'm not going to finish it. <laughs> Quite sad. I'm very depressed. Did, wait, didn't you get Hot Pursuit? Yeah, I got that, and then I started playing that, and that game was flipping awesome. Like, ah, oh, so good. People at Criterion make, like, the best racing games. Arcade they do, but games. I felt... Yeah, that's that's fair statement, but I felt that the steering... The steering breaks the game for me. Really? It. I guess it's kind of like... They don't steer, like... Uh, they kind of steer weird, but you just kind of adjust to it, and I find it was kind of fine. Yeah, it, do, it does take a while. No, because lots of people are playing online, so I find the game, like, instantly, and you're jumping in. People are playing, like, every type of, like match so you can go anywhere and find like enough people to play and it's really awesome yeah it's pretty sweet i i know when i was playing should probably get back into it sometime but uh yeah, the matches the, the the matches that i found the best were actually the sport mode with like the rx8 to uh, the 350z and all those low end cars like they're not overpowered and really fast i find them a lot funner online yeah. Especially when you're playing with the supercars, like you touch something and you just like flip back control. And it's like I I barely tap that. Uh, yeah, I know it's ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> and then I also I'm playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the newest one. That game is it's really fun, but it's like ridiculously hard. I got to like the third dungeon. I've died like six times. Six times I play it. I don't I don't know if it's because I suck. I feel it's just like completely unfair to me and there's nothing I can do to like try and every time like you go or you die the dungeon like regenerates in a different way so you never know what to expect that's an interesting concept having regenerized dungeons every time yeah it's really cool and every time it's different items so sometimes I'm like I find all the sweet items that help me get to the end and sometimes it's like I get like the crappiest items and I die on like the first floor and it's like this whole thing over again, I had to watch this whole stupid cutscene over again. Super annoying. Yeah. Is this for DS? Yeah, it's the DS game. It's pretty sweet. I'm trying to think of what else I've been playing. Uh, I played a little bit of Blaze Blue. That game was really sweet. Kind of ridiculous. You don't really know what's going on. It's just a lot of flashing lights. Oh, so it's like the Versus series. So I think that yeah, about cool. wraps it up for introductions. So what are we going to move on to next? Um, we are going to move on to some news topics I have found. Let's see, what should we start with? We'll start with Harmonix. So as you know, um, Harmonix was put up for sale by... 
MTV and what's that company called? Um, Viacom. Viacom. That's it. Yeah, it says right there, Viacom. And so, Viacom and MTV originally bought them for 150 million about, and they sold them to Columbus Nova for 49.99. Yeah, I think that's the only amount of money they've actually gained from the sale. It's, it just seems like such a ridiculous sale, but if you think about it, like all the stuff that Harmonix brings along with them make it seem like it's not that terrible of a deal. No, because all that that hundred uh, hundred fifty million uh, price tag is all due down to liabilities and uh, basically the products they still have and hardware and all that yeah um, all, every like artist they've like ever like paid royalties or whatever to they just still have to pay all that stuff like for the licensing yeah i mean i haven't played rock band 3 yet um i sh probably should because it's more of a musician's actual game which is a good thing because i was actually hoping for that like Two years ago, and now it's probably out, and I haven't I haven't had a chance to actually pick it up and try it. Yeah, uh, I hear that game. They do a lot of things, but still, just like oh great, another rhythm music game that doesn't really do that much new with more plastic instruments. I don't really need to clutter up my house. Yeah, well, I think um, that was for. They were just trying to appeal still to the casual crowd so they can actually sell the game because you're not going to see every musician that actually likes playing an actual instrument rather than a plastic piece of crap. And I guess that's what they were hoping to aim for, but you know, the marketing there, uh, I guess you don't see a lot of actual musicians going out to buy in it. Mm -hmm. And even like games before that, like Beatles. I believe undersold a lot. Like it didn't sell as well as they thought it would be, being it's like the Beatles and who bought Green Day rock band? Like Green Day is not like a product that's gonna be like huge. I know. I I still don't know why people are actually listening to the band since it was uh, <laughs> famed as a casual band, anyways, when they came out. Anyways, past that point, um, on the sale good for Columbus Nova, but they haven't really stated where they're going to go with the company. Yeah, are they just going to like leave Harmonix to do whatever they want? I hope so. Hope Harmonix makes to do something that's like interesting instead of just pumping out more rhythm games. Like cool music games like would be awesome, but like well, more plastic instruments, yay. Harmonix is a very creative company because so far, they're actually straying away from that rhythm kind of stuff, and now they've gone to the Connect and produced that uh, music game. Can't remember the name. Yeah, Dance Central. That's it, and I hear it's pretty good. Um, you know, problem with the game is the Connect part. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of casual. So it probably doesn't. I think it sold like three hundred thousand in its first month. Yeah, and I I know that Dark Side Phil on YouTube, he's actually done, he actually played through the game for a bit, and he says that it's all the Connect problem, that it, that's the best game that he played on the Connect. Yeah, which is kind of sad. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So. See, what else? Interesting news. Um, so Miyamoto at uh, some time, some interview said that uh, Zelda was halfway finished, which is weird because during E3 he mentioned that it was in the final stretch, so final stretch could really mean anything.